Welcome to the Trade Pro FX YouTube channel. Today, we're going to dive deep into the realities of trading. It's important to remember that nobody wins all the time. Don't be deceived. Trading is not a get rich quick scheme. The truth is, the price of trading success often involves facing losses. Most traders do not want to experience loss, they only want to see profits all the time. But this is impossible. Losses are inevitable. Think of them as a fee the market charges you to get better at trading. Before becoming a consistently profitable trader, every trader on this planet experiences losses in one way or another. What's important is not how much you lose, but how much profit you make when you're right. You could be wrong half the time and still make a fortune. For instance, if you take 20 trades in a month, you don't need to win all 20 to be profitable. You can lose 10 trades and win the other 10, and you could still end up profitable. Here's a scenario. Let's say you are risking 1% of your capital on each trade. Whenever you are wrong, make sure to cut your loss, but don't lose more than that 1%. This is highly dependent on your risk appetite. Whether it's 0.5%, 1%, 2%, or even 5%, you get to decide. As a beginner in Forex trading, if your risk appetite is set at 1%, make sure that if you lose, you don't lose more than 1%. But when you're right, aim for a minimum of 2% or 3% gains. This is the only way to become a consistently profitable trader. You don't need to win all 20 trades in a month. All it takes to become profitable is winning 10 out of those 20 trades. In today's video, I'm going to reveal how you can develop the right mindset to trade only A-plus setups in Forex and Deriv trading. If you find value in this video, make sure to click the like and subscribe buttons and turn on the notification bell so you can be the first to know when we upload another exclusive Forex video tutorial. Understanding the Kicker Formula As a professional price action trader, there are certain things you need to understand about trading systems if you want to become profitable. You need to develop a kicker formula. Every successful trader has their own unique kicker formula, which they rarely share. But I don't want to be like others. That's why I'm taking the time to explain my easy kicker setup formula so that you can understand it as quickly as possible. You don't have to spend years before you get it right. Looking at the screen right now, you can see the 4-hour time frame kicker setup formula. This strategy is strictly based on the 4-hour time frame. You don't need to bother with daily, weekly, or any other time frame. Just use the 4-hour time frame as your bias time frame to determine your market sentiment. Steps to follow in the kicker formula. Establish consolidation on the 4-hour time frame. When analyzing any market, the first thing you should do is identify a consolidation phase on the 4-hour time frame. Consolidation happens when there is a fierce battle between buyers and sellers, where neither is dominating the market. When you see the market moving within a specific range, without a clear direction, that's your consolidation phase. Wait for break and retest. Once you've identified a consolidation phase, the next step is to wait for a breakout from this range, whether to the upside or downside. Once the market breaks out, be patient and wait for a retest on the 30-minute time frame. This is where many traders make mistakes by entering too early. Ensure price is above the 100 EMA on the 30-minute time frame. After the breakout and retest, ensure that the price is above the 100 EMA exponential moving average on the 30-minute time frame. This serves as a confirmation signal for the trend direction. Use break of structure for entry on the 30-minute time frame. For your entry, Wait for a break of structure on the 30-minute time frame. What do we mean by break of structure? This is when the price moves and breaks through a previous high or low point. In this case, we are looking at the volatility 75 index market. Currently, on the 4-hour time frame, you will agree with me that the market is consolidating. When you see a consolidation like this, understand that the buyers and sellers are in a tug of war battling to see who will dominate the market. As a professional price action trader, your job is to wait patiently for a breakout. Once you've identified a consolidation phase on the 4-hour time frame, the next crucial step is to wait for the price action to break out, either to the upside or downside. Remember, 
do not take any trades within the consolidation zone. So I will erase this rectangle since it is in the current price and we cannot see the results. So we'll go back in the past form candlesticks. We will view to see, maybe maybe an example, and see its behavior, whether it will adhere all the rules we have spoken about them. Then the next thing is, that is rule number one. Avoid trading inside a consolidation. Now, let's look at what happens when the market is consolidating. Like I told you, start with the 4 hour, then to the 30 minutes. First, use a rectangle tool to mark out the consolidation zone. This is step one of our formula. Clearly defining the zone will help you visualize where the battle between buyers and sellers is taking place. Step two, wait for a breakout and retest on the 30 minute time frame after marking the consolidation zone. The second step is to wait for a breakout on the 30 minute time frame. Change your chart to a 30 minute time frame and keep an eye on the price action. You need to ensure that the current price is trading either above or below the consolidation box. Once you observe that the price action has moved above the consolidation zone, it's not yet time to jump in. The next critical step is to wait for a retest of the consolidation zone on the 30 minute time frame after the breakout. This step is vital. Never skip it. Many traders make the mistake of entering a trade immediately after a breakout, only to see the market pull back and hit their stop losses before moving in the desired direction. This happens often with what we call false breakouts. Understanding false breakouts. Let's look at an example. Suppose there is a breakout where the price moves above the consolidation zone. Some traders may quickly set their buy orders above this zone and their stop loss orders below it. However, what often happens is that the market moves back down, clearing out all these stop losses, and then it reverses and moves in the original breakout direction. This is a common trap that catches impatient traders. To avoid this trap, you need to exercise patience. Wait and watch to confirm that this breakout is genuine. Allow the market to retest the consolidation zone and show signs that the breakout is holding. Only then can you consider entering a trade. Looking at our example, after the breakout, the price moves out of the consolidation zone and then comes back for a retest. Once the retest is successful and the price is still trading above the 100 EMA, it confirms that the market is indeed trending upwards. Ensure that the price is trading above the 100 EMA exponential moving average on the 30 minute time frame. This is a must for the strategy. If the price is not above the 100 EMA after the retest, you should not take the trade. And there you have it. The kicker formula, a straightforward yet powerful approach to trading that can help you make informed decisions in the forex and volatility markets. Remember, successful trading is not about winning every trade, but about managing risk, being patient, and following a well-defined strategy. By focusing on high probability setups and maintaining discipline, you give yourself the best chance to succeed. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the Trade Pro FX YouTube channel. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our future tutorials and market insights. We're here to help you become a more confident and knowledgeable trader one step at a time. Feel free to drop any questions or topics you'd like us to cover in the comments below. We read every comment and are committed to bringing you the best content to elevate your trading journey. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video. And as for the taking of the profits, using the strategy target a ration of 1 to 2 or a ratio of 1 to 3 for better risk management. And with that said, bye. Bye.